What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Retro Fletcher and we are here to conquer the classics. Today we are back with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. We've got scene 4 today and it's called Welcome to the Jungle. And we are starting right now. <laughs> Scene 4. New York has been destroyed. Meanwhile, Manhattan is suspended in the sky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, one second. My sound wasn't working. There we go. I just remember Mikey is the lamest turtle in this, like I said in my last video. <laughs> or the last level. Um... Cause he's got the dumbest special attack. Like, are you serious? Oh, okay, good. Siri, stop. Every I can never use the word serious because Siri always thinks I'm saying her name, and then when I actually say her name, it you see doesn't she doesn't respond. It always happens. But um, I'm, I'm glad I didn't lose a life when I fell like that, because normally you would. Like, freaking the first Ninja Turtles, they're ruthless. They're just like, oh, you fell? Well, you're dead and your life is gone. But in this one, they're like, they probably had a meeting before they like started making this game and programming it. And they're like, all right, guys, we were kind of ruthless in the first one. So let's, uh, let's not be so ruthless. <laughs> Bro, quit punching me. <clears throat> and they're like, we're, we're gonna give you guys some more chances. <laughs> I like that they did that, because this one, it makes it funner when it's not. Because when it's so hard, and like so difficult, like the first Ninja Turtles or any type of those games, like Battletoads, oh my gosh. It's so ruthless and difficult. Like, I just, I can't believe how hard some of those games were. Or, like, Castlevania, man. Castlevania was just ruthless as well. So, I'm glad they, they kind of perfected in the sequels of these games. Where they're like, okay, we, we need to make this a little more chill. Because <laughs> these games are pretty tough. But it just, it makes it funner too. Because then you can actually make progress instead of just trying to beat a level 100 times. Like, I can't tell you how many times... can't tell you guys how many times I tried to beat level 11 Klinger Winger on Battletoads. I will never forget that level because it was so stupidly hard. I have a video of it, too. I have a video of me... It's a compilation video of me dying 100 times on Klinger Winger. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you should go watch it because it's entertaining. And I'm like so pissed because I literally was playing that level for like two hours, two and a half hours, like I swear. And <clears throat> I was getting nowhere. Like it was just insane. I, and I was getting like so upset. I was like, this is, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> and I was like legit getting mad over the, the level. So if you guys, if you guys have played that level, like, you know Battletoads is hard enough, and when you get that far and the level is that hard, it's like, this game is impossible to beat unless, like, you're cheating, and the only reason I beat it is because I had save and load. But it just, it's crazy how hard they make some of these older games. So, so it's kind of, ow. I like how these guys shoot, like, cannonballs, but all, all it does is, like, gets dust in my eyes. <laughs> it's like, I, normally a cannonball would just like take your face out, but in this it just like blows up into sand and you rub your eyes a little bit. Ooh, we got some sand boys. Nope. Okay. I think I'm going to be extra careful because I don't want to lose another life because I already have two. So if I can conserve another life, or if I can keep two lives in this one, I think I'll get an extra life in the next level. And that'll be 
very oh never mind I forgot about um, the fact that you can get another life with high scores so that's what points are for in this <laughs> I figured it was just like useless or you just compare it with your friends with these older games but this one actually there's purpose it's like Mario you get an extra life so that's cool oh oh like how they're like these fancy whip ones and I just toss them like, not so fancy now are you oh <laughs> these these ones they're 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 lacking their boomerangs. They're like the sand throwing ones, except these ones just these ones just body slam you. <laughs> it's so corny. I love how they make the yellow ones do like the stupidest moves. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Alright, whatever. It's fine. Um I like Donnie. Donnie's weapon is very helpful, because it seems like I have some range with it. Where Raph seems like he does not have much range. I don't know if that's true or not. They might just have the same amount of range, but... I feel like I have more reach with Donnie's bow in this one. But it might just be the same. I don't know. But you definitely had more reach in the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Donnie. He, like, he was cheap in that one. But I don't know about this one. Boing! a weird noise. <laughs> Love that. Those, those foot soldiers, their special weapon is just empty barrels they toss at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's gonna get crazy. Oh, wait, no. I guess not. <laughs> is that gonna back up on me? I feel like it is. Please don't run me over. Dude. That's so annoying when you go to hit them and they keep backing up. This is so irritating. Alright, let's save that. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh, shoot. I used my range for these dudes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really do feel like Donnie has some... He's got a bit of range with his attack. Because I couldn't do this with Raphael, I feel like. Where I poke him from a distance like that. Oh, we got some knife throwers. They're so violent. I love how some are just corny and they have... Just these... <laughs> like those foot soldiers that... They just body slam. They have no weapon. And then you get the other ones. Like these guys. They've got these, like, what are those? 100 pound weights they're just trying to throw on you and just crush you. Like, I love the aspect of violence in, in, <laughs> with the foot soldiers. Some are just so violent and ruthless. And then they're just out for blood. And then you got others that just throw sand in your face. They just want to, like, incapacitate you. They, they don't want to completely obliterate you and kill you with a 100-pound weight that crushes you. Oh, speaking of which, we got some body slammers. Nope, nope. Can't body slam this. And I love how inaccurate they are when they try and body slam you. Like, look, they're not even close. Quit backing up, you idiot. I think that's the most irritating thing about them. They do this crap where they back up quickly. I hate how they can move faster than you. I should be able to move as fast as them. Oh, who's the boss? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's just a... <laughs> it's just a train full of foot soldiers. Uh, I'm trying to remember who the boss is on this one, because I... I can't remember. <gasps> oh, is this him? Yep. I don't remember this guy's name. But I remember he's a cool boss. Ow. Dude. Shit. I say that at the worst time. Dude, I need to look up his name, because I, I don't remember who this guy is. Come on, boy. Ow. Get over here. 
Ah. Ah, dang it. I remember he does that, and that's like the prime opportunity to hit him. Come on, man. Ah. No! What? Oh, I gotta be at like a certain angle? Okay, okay, okay. Shoot! God, I didn't want to lose another life. Ow, ow. That hurt. Freak. Okay, he's a little more challenging than the other ones. Like Bebop. Bebop is so lame. Come on, dude. Oh, dude, that, that was hurting him. Bro. Yeah, boy, you did. <laughs> I need to look up his name because I cannot remember for the life of me what his name was. He's new though in this, I think. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so I looked up, I looked up the level, and I don't know why, but this one is called Welcome to the Jungle. But it was like there was no jungle. And I, it was like underground stuff. And I don't know why it's called that. So I'm really confused. But I did find out the boss's name. His name is Dirtbag. Totally forgot about him. He was he's like a new he's a new boss that was introduced into into this into Teacher Digital 3, so it's good to remember him. He was cool. He was he was kind of annoying, he was a tough boss, he killed me <laughs> more than I wanted him to. Um, but um, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed that and you want more NES games, you want more Game Boy. Super Nintendo and 64, make sure to subscribe. Join the Retro Squad. We play games like this um, like every other day, if not every day. So, um, yeah, we've got Scene 5 uh, next. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's like the, the the Pipeline Sewer Nightmare or something. Something like that. So, I will see you guys in the next video.